Hey, Vizant here. In this video, we're going to look at hidden ability Ralts for Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. So the hidden ability, as you can see on the screen, is Solipathy, Anticipated, and Allies Attack and Dodges. So pretty much good for team battle and stuff like that. Alright, so there's two ways to do this. Both of them are post-game. The first one is go to the battle area, get 200 battle points, which, in my opinion, is quite a long time and quite a bit of battles. And you get the ability patch, where you can give to any Pokemon and get the hidden ability. Second way is to get the Poke Radar, which you can get after you completed your Sinnoh decks by seeing, not catching, just seeing all the Pokemon there. Um, I'm gonna put end of the video where there's maybe like some where you may miss like the other Legendary and Drifloom, and also I guess I'll show you where to get the counter at the end because that'll be helpful just to know, just just know how much you're on for the chain. And yeah, so bring a lot of Max Repels. And you want to start chain catching them because the more you encounter, the more you can get a chance to get hidden ability. Because the chance of getting a hidden ability is 1 out of 128. It doesn't increase with every chain, but you'd rather see more of this, this Pokemon than another Pokemon, right? Alright, so to start this off, let's go to Jubilife City because Ralt spawn in Route 203 and Route 204. Fly over there. I used to go 203 because it's a nice big patch of grass over there. So what you want to do is... You can turn on your max rep repel right now. Just so you don't encounter anything. Right, you, I'm just going to go turn it on right now. Got so many, right? Um, I, I did do my chain kind of over here. And then I, eventually I moved on to over here. Because the bigger the grass patch, the more it is to be further away. You have a chance, better chance to get grass patches further away. Because then you want to be as far, far away as possible from your starting position. So let's see, we can start right here, right? You want to be the furthest away from your starting position. And if you encounter it after that, um, if it's not the Pokemon you're looking for, right? You would just run away and then you would recharge your Poke Radar by running around, I believe it takes like what, 50, 50 steps? And then you do it again. And once you do get a chain activated, uh, let me just get 50 in here. All right, five more. So yeah, pick the furthest one away. Cause there's still a chance that it can break. But if you go like at least four more spaces, it's unlikely that it will break. You know what? I'm just gonna show you how to do this here, and then I'll just show you the clip, okay, of how I actually got the Ralts here, just to prove it actually exists, right? So you either defeat it or you catch it. I believe if you catch it, there's a 10% more chance of it not breaking, but I don't want Pokemon, my box is full of like the same Pokemon. I'm gonna release them anyways. So you defeat it, and then usually the chain will continue, right? And you want to go to the furthest one away from you, so use your Pythagorean Theorem brain and uh, go to that one. And it'll be the same Pokemon, okay? So what you can do when you have hidden abilities, this is the Ralts. You want to catch the Trace one, and it'll be a lot helpful. And then you can maybe go to the Pokemon League, level just a little bit, okay? Level just a little bit, and then um, put that in front. Like, I have one right here, right? I could just put that in front. This Pokemon has Trace. So then Trace will actually help you see Hidden Ability. So not just for this video, but like for future Pokemon that you need Hidden Ability, it would be a lot helpful if you had a Pokemon with Trace. <gasps> yes! Hidden Ability! Finally! Oh my freaking god. I'm just gonna Ultra Ball you this. We're done! Freaking done. Yes. But yeah, thanks for watching. And of course, it's gonna take a long process. If you want, you can come by Twitch. I have a Twitch redemption. I believe if you follow, you have enough just to redeem it. You can have me breed you one of the ones I already have. So feel free to come by Twitch. Socials down below. And I'll show you the clips now on the other 
random tips to like complete your decks and maybe help out. Just informational stuff. Later days. And one of the ones that you will probably need is the other legendary that you didn't catch or see in the story. And in order to do that, you will go to Celeste Town, right? Uh, and then you go into the back here, in this cave, in the house. And there's the old lady that can talk talk to you about the legendary Pokemon right there. And now you have seen it. You got it in your decks. So what you need to do is go to a Friday, right? So what you can do is go to your actual system. <laughs> I'm gonna do some time hacks here. Let's see. System change, date time. Let's see, Friday was what, two days ago? It's Sunday right now. Sure. And then you wanna enter a house and, and exit. Then I'll respawn the Drift Loom. At Floroma Town, that's where you want to go. So, if you guys not sure where that is, it's right here. Let's go right to... And apparently you should see it around here. Oh, there it is. There we go. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, to get the counter, you would just fly to Sand Gem Town. And then you're gonna end up surfing down here and get to the park right down here, right? So this is the area where you want to go to. Just a building at the end. I'll fly to show you where the what the building looks like at least. Okay. Right. So this is what the building looks like. You're gonna make your way from here. You go in, talk to Professor Oak. You get the the, the counter, and then that's the counter that you see right here on the top right. It'll tell you the top three, and it'll tell you the current one that you have available if you got one. 